Hello, Redhead Forester here, um, in a rather dimly lit shed. I, it actually looks worse on the camera than it is. Anyway, I have here, um, let's get some light on these, I have here two uh, pistol, uh, sorry, cylinders from a still MS-260. Uh, these are the larger bore, the 44.7mm cylinders. Um, the one on the left here is a uh, uh, OEM still part which I kind of knackered, um, and the one on the right here, which I've already transferred the little rubber bung thing and the uh, decompression valve onto, is a highway aftermarket cylinder. Um, and I'm just going to show you, because uh, I suspect this will be useful to someone, the um, differences between them. Uh, okay, uh, let me just get my head torch on a second here. That's a little bit better. We've got two hands free now, um, uh, or one hand at least, for because <laughs> I'm holding the camera. Um, okay, first of all, the OEM one. Um, if you look at the fin uh, thickness on that, uh, see if I can get get some light on it there. No, this is difficult. Um, the fins are fairly thin on that. Uh, if we put that side by side with the highway one. The highway fins are considerably thicker. That's the first noticeable difference. Um, overall, I have noticed that the highway cylinder is lower quality, as you would expect for a part that costs 30, 40 quid. Um, uh, now, where was it on this? It was... yes, there it is. On the highway cylinder, there is actually a part where the fins are not detached. And that is a uh, manufacturing error. So I'm going to sort that out with a Dremel, which I bought today specifically for this purpose, um, because that's not really going to be much use, because the air needs to get around that particular part of this. Now, next thing is the size of the size and quality of the um, intake and exhaust ports. On the still, the intake port is uh, relatively large, uh, on the outside here and relatively smooth on the inside of the port. On the highway the port is a slightly weird shape and a lot smaller than on the still. Uh, additionally inside and especially on the bottom there uh, it is considerably rougher um, than on the still. Um, on the inside of the woo <laughs> new part, don't want to drop it on the inside of the uh, cylinder. I'm just going to swap these around to make it extra confusing. Um, the still has a wider uh, intake port than the highway. Um, this is it's quite noticeably different. Um, so again, I'm probably going to Dremel that a little bit. Um, then, uh, and I've only just noticed this one. At the top of the cylinder, the um, combustion chamber there, uh, the edge between that and this kind of flat bit here is not uh, beveled to any extent at all. On the still, it is nicely smoothed off. Um, the combustion chamber on the highway is just generally rougher as well, as with all parts of the highway so far. Um, now onto the exhaust ports. Um, and once again, uh, the still, okay, this is quite hard to tell because this has been extensively used and then I've knackered it some more, uh, but this is relatively smooth in here. Um, on the highway, uh, which again, the port is slightly smaller on, um, you can see right there on the top there it's rather rough and on the bottom it's even worse. It's very, very lumpy there. Um, on the inside of the cylinders, Gosh, this is difficult. <laughs> on the inside of the cylinders, um, it's not such a big difference on the exhaust port um, as to the width. There is a very slight difference. The highway is very slightly narrower uh, using uh, judgment by eye. I have not measured these. And then on the inside of the cylinders again, um, the transfer ports... Uh, can I get more light on that? Yeah, there we go. That's the still fairly smooth, a bit lumpy, and that's the highway, 
very lumpy. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do very much about that, um, and I hope that won't affect performance too much. Um, but yeah, so my my thoughts on these, having just bought them and not used them at all, uh, not having just bought the highway and not used it at all yet, um, is that overall the highway you get what you pay for. Uh, the the coating on the inside looks good. Uh, at, at, uh, at a glance, um, but overall build quality, I'm not quite so impressed. The bits that really matter are all right, but like I say, I'm going to go over this over this with a Dremel, uh, widen up the ports a little bit, uh, maybe just slightly wider than on the on the stock OEM piston uh, cylinder. Sorry, um, but yeah, it just needs a bit of cleaning up really. Uh, this one I've completely knackered. Um, uh, I left it sitting for several days with um, toilet descaler in it to remove the aluminium residue and I don't know if you can see that, that, that white spot there just below the um, exhaust port, big white spot, that's actually a very deep dimple where uh, there was a little lump of aluminium uh, which presumably was stuck on because it had worn through the coating here. Uh, now there's no actual bad scoring in this, or there wasn't, um, it was just on the piston, but I've now completely wrecked this cylinder, which is a bit of a pain, but a learning experience. So, there's there's my thoughts and observations on these two cylinders so far, this is coming from an amateur, but I hope that this uh, will be found useful by anyone who might be looking to purchase an aftermarket part for their saw. Um, yeah. Uh, Good luck in. Uh, oops, let's turn that off. Good luck in uh, searching for a decent aftermarket part, and yeah, um, like, comment, subscribe. See you later.